Every set with n elements has exactly 2 to the n subsets. There are several ways to prove this, so this is just one way, so proof. So let S be a set with n elements. And we're going to show that S has 2 to the n subsets, exactly 2 to the n subsets. So the way we'll do it in this proof is to use the binomial theorem. So recall, if you take x plus y to the n, that's the sum, as k runs from 0 to n, of n choose k, of x to the, now I can put a k here, I can put an n minus k, it doesn't matter, I'll put, uh, I'll put a k times y to the n minus k. So that was the binomial theorem. Okay, let's go back to the proof. So note, if we look at 2 to the n, well, 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. So this is 1 plus 1 to the n, right? So 2 is 1 plus 1. And now we can invoke the power of the binomial theorem. So this is the sum as k runs from 0 to n of n choose k. And here x is 1 and y is 1. So what happens when you plug in 1 for x? Well, you get 1 to the k, right? And here you get 1 to the n minus k. Well, 1 to the k is 1, and 1 to the n minus k is 1. So you just get 1. So that's it. That's what you get. So what is n choose k? That's what we have to think about. What is n choose k? So recall, n choose k This is the number of k element subsets of a set of size n. Okay, of size n. So let's let's break it down. Let's let's try to make that a little more clear. So if you have n choose zero, this is the number of zero element subsets in a set of size n. Well, that's going to be one. How do I know that? Well, there's only one subset that has no elements. That's the empty set. So that, that should make sense. Uh, n choose 1 is the number of 1 element subsets of a set of size n. Well, what are the 1 element subsets? They're the subsets containing 1 element. So if you have n elements, there's n subsets containing 1 element, right? So that's equal to n. Uh, so what would n choose 4 be? Well, n choose 4, this would be the number of four element subsets, et cetera. All right, so we're done with the proof. We just have to explain why we're done. So that's, that's the beautiful part. Uh, so let's work this out. If you actually work this out, you first plug in zero, right? You plug in zero, and then you're supposed to add, and then you plug in one, and then you're supposed to add, right? And then you add, and then you plug in two, and then you're supposed to add, et cetera. You keep adding and you stop at n, right? So this will be plus n choose n. So this is an equation, right? We have an equality here. So the left-hand side is equal to two to the n. The right-hand side, well, this is the number of zero element subsets. This is the number of one element subsets. This is the number of two element subsets. And this is the number of n element subsets. So let's think about that for a minute. If you take a subset, you could, if you take a set, you could actually break it up into a union of all the zero element subsets, all the one element subsets, all the two element subsets, and all the n element subsets, etc. So all of the different subsets of different sizes. So if you count, if you count the number of zero element subsets, and the number of one element subsets, and the number of two element subsets, and the number of n element subsets, et cetera, and all the numbers in here that are missing, and the number of 10 element subsets, and the number of 11 element subsets. If you count all the individual subsets of individual si sizes, you've basically counted all the subsets. Well, this is adding up those counts, right? We're taking the number of zero element subsets, and we're adding it to the number of one element subsets, and we're adding it to the number of two element subsets, et cetera, all the way to the number of n element subsets. The total, the sum, is the total number of subsets. But we said that that is equal to two to the n.